Here we are for another review, and this time we are starting the Christmas season specials. And for the first one, we got the Shiny Wax Tractor. Who upcoming reviews? I probably will be reviewing the Revengo Tractor soon. But I don't know if it'll be anytime soon. I just decided to do this one first because no one has reviewed it yet. Plus, it looks way better than the Rav and Go tractor, if you do ask me. I think it's time. And now, this is the Shiny Wax tractor. That That's the only reason I got all these Shiny Waxes out. And this is Con. He actually is Conrad Camber, which we'll compare to a little bit later. But we're just going to get in into the review of him. So first of all, let's see if we can get it to focus. Doesn't seem like it's in the mood to right now. So first of all, we got the wheels, the little wheels in the front, the mouth, the grill, and then this white thingy, and then the smoke pipe right here. And then you do see the continuity sponsors plus the gold star with the 82 and the arrow where to indicate the picker where to lift. And then here's the wheels. They do say light year. They added that detail even on the small wheels they actually do. And then there are red dots here. And then here's the eye, blue eyes. And it ain't so flat looking as it is on the Rev and Go tractor. Here's the golden star again on it. The back, you do see rookie stripes and the number 82 with the shiny wax logo. Then there's a window on the roof. You do see 82. Now, there is a couple. there. So, this tractor series is becoming pretty big. You do ask me just because. We first got the Rev and Go tractor, then we got the Paul Conrev tractor, who I do not have. Now we get the Shiny Wax tractor, and upcoming will be a no stall. Uh, and Combuster and R Rich Mixon tractor. And uh, we're in the hey, I do like the wheels a lot on this guy, just because I think it looks cool. And then there's a grill they added in there. And the contingency sponsors, they did way better than they did on the Revengo tractor, if you do see. Yeah, there it is. Because you do see the grainy, where it's not so grainy on here. And then the expression, I do prefer way more on, on the shiny wax than I do the Revengo. Because I do think it's kind of ugly, especially the teeth. And yeah, we're going to compare them with Conrad Camber a little bit. So yeah, strangely, they did do some a couple mistakes. I noticed because there is a couple non-similarities like the blue eyes versus brown eyes. The hood, it doesn't look like these golden lines are going to point to the thing anymore, which I don't know if that was absolutely necessary because then it will messed up the gold star, kind of. And, the gold, and then... Tennessee, the sides look a bit the same, but the roof is com very different on the shiny wax tractor than it is on the original Conrad Camber. No more spoiler anymore. And then uh, we do got, and then uh, the back looks way different because it's green instead of black on the back with the rookie stripes. I feel like personally this well it's too short, but we are down to just a few weeks until Christmas. Yes, it, uh, and well, the next review might be of one of the cars from the next gen four pack. Either that or Dan Carcia here. Yes, I did get the ten pack for Dan Carcia, and I finally got it. And, well, maybe it'll even be Speedy Comets. But, the guarantee is, it's probably going to be the car who wins the vote from the next Gen 4 pack. So, the whole next Gen 4 pack is up for votes. Keep on voting the cars. And, yeah, so thank you for watching this review. 
probably a shorter than usual review, but oh well. So thanks for watching. Bye!